Hey, what's up guys? Los here from the Big Retro Show and it has been a minute since I have spoken about Retro Mania Wrestling. And to, to be honest with you, I really wasn't planning to speak about it again. But I saw a posting on Facebook. Yeah, I log on to Facebook from time to time and I check out the posts. But I saw a post by Retro Mania Wrestling indicating that the game is on sale for PlayStation. It's actually 30% off of the base game. And the base game retails for like 30 bucks or something like that. But anyways, it got me curious. It got me thinking, are people still into this game? Are they still playing it? Did they ever deliver? on the dlc that they promised everyone i know that they released chris bay but did they release james storm did they release mr hughes how has their communication been and so on and so forth so let me switch screens and i'll show you the post that i saw so here is the post as you can see it says playstation sale and it touts arcade wrestling action 50 plus match variations 50 plus match variations wrestling legends legends guys <laughs> wrestling legends okay maybe two three at most but legends come on bro come on these are jobbers all of them they're jobbers the stars of today the stars of today hmm very interesting. Very interesting. Anyways, the game I said, as I said, retails for let's see here, thirty bucks. You can get, you can grab it on the PlayStation for twenty dollars in ninety nine cents. Twenty dollars, twenty bucks for a ripoff of WrestleFest with jobbers and with gameplay that's eh, from what I've heard. I, I don't know. I haven't played it. Maybe you guys can tell me. But does it match up to the original, to the OG WrestleFest? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so, though. Anyways, let's look at some of the comments that people wrote about this, this post here. Oh, let's see. Hmm. It says, uh, old Hoyt, Cro Cro Hoyt Croker wants to know, how about the DLC? I'm not playing it until that drops. I don't blame you. I don't. When the game was first introduced and close to retail to release date, Mike Herman was such a great guy giving vlog YouTube updates all the time. Then boom, out of nowhere, the game is released and then no updates at all. Very disappointing. I'm glad I saved my money. I'm not sure if Mike is even involved anymore. That is a good question. That is a very good question. Because all of the posts that I have seen have nothing to do with Retro Mania Wrestling. It's more of the appropriation of the old school WWF wrestling posts. Um, and not very much info on the game. I'm not going to read the replies, but um, you guys get the picture. Yo, Andrew, over, over here, Andrew agrees with me. Legends that many don't know care about unless you're a wrestling tryhard. <laughs> wow. Okay, look, you know, I have to admit, I did like ECW back in the day. But even then, I knew that some of the guys that they are using for this game were jobbers. Like, the Blue Meanie was a jobber. And I'm not, like, dissing on the Blue Meanie, but, I mean, come on. Real is real. He wasn't going to put asses in the seats. Neither was Stevie Richards. Legends that many don't know care about unless you're a wrestling tryhard. Really hate this complete silence after an update. Been, like, eight months already. Wow. Eight months? Has it been that long? Jeez, I did not realize that. Eight months is a long time. And you have to, you have to wonder, I mean... We're not programming anything too complex here. This is an arcade rip of WrestleFest. You know, you cut and paste some code, you change some pixels here and there, and you have your DLC. You know, it's not like you're programming a, a new wrestling mode or even create a wrestler. 
like many people have said this game sorely needs um these are games that i mean this is a game that has not communicated anything about the dlc so you know i i, I just have to wonder what are they doing over there Let's see, this is a great game, but the lack of updates and communication is disheartening. You are not the only one there, Funnest Frontier. I keep thinking I'd like to buy this game if it's cheap. But when I see the comments, all of the customers let down by the lack of updates and promised DLC, I refuse out of principle. Good on you, Jason Norris. Good on you. This game... I mean, let's talk. Let's talk a little bit about the principles uh, of this game. I mean, right now they are clearly not communicating anything about the DLC, but this is par for the course for these guys, right? Because they lost the the right to call themselves the official sequel to WrestleFest and didn't say jack about it. They didn't say anything about it. So that that was one thing, and then. The company had delay after delay after delay. And when the game released on one console, it was like nowhere near release on the others. So it didn't get a console launch on all three of the consoles. I believe the very first system in, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, because I do not remember this. But I think that the first system that got this game was like the PS4 or something like that. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. And the other thing that really, really offends me about this game is that they try to pass it off as, you know, this great sequel to WrestleFest. And, you know, these, got, these wrestlers that they have there in the game are these top-notch, you know, wrestling legends. Well, no, no, they are not top-notch wrestling legends of blue meanie is not a wrestling legend bro he is not maybe ivan koloff might be one i mean he's uh yeah he's kind of borderline but the only real superstars they have on here you know are hawk and animal and if hawk and animal could have seen how the trajectory of this game has um unveil has been unveiled they probably wouldn't want their names associated with it. You know, that's just a guess. But anyways, let's let's go ahead and, and read on here. There are 16 more comments. And I'm not going to read all of them. I just kind of wanted to give you guys a taste of, of, of what people are saying. Still waiting on physical announcement. Yeah. Just play WrestleFest on PC. Yep. Yes. Yes, sir, Andrew Robert. That is correct. Link, please. Link, please. Okay. I don't know about that. Oh, let's look at this one. I understand that Retrosoft Studios is a small team, but the lack of communication to community regarding updates since launch is extremely frustrating. It's been nearly two years since the initial since the initial launch now on most platforms. And almost a year since DLC was announced, but not truly showcased. I know I'm far from alone in voicing these complaints, but I think it hurts more because the game is actually really good and was made with a lot of passion and effort. To be left in the dark like this about features DLC that will keep the game going into the future and or could allow for sequels or other projects from the studios is extremely depressing. Doubt the team at Retrosoft is even listening anymore though. Sad face. Let's see. Did they respond? Nope. No. I am boycotting this game until you people re release the rest of it. This game is a couple of years old already, and we still don't have the second part of story mode. Yeah, I mean, what is with that? The game is two years old, and it's still like 20 bucks. This, this game is like a $2 game. Like a three dollar game, five dollar game at max. I wouldn't be spending no twenty bucks on this game. Hell no, hell no. 
And I'm a little disappointed uh, with, with the whole way that Retrosoft Studios was trying to pull a fast one on all of us. You know, by calling it the sequel and then yanking the um, press releases off of their website. And, you know, they, what they tried to do is something that I am highly against. And that is, you know, they recruited all these YouTubers to shill for this game. And the way they won them over is they included them in their game. And so they would get excited and they could tell all their viewers that they are in a game and this game is fabulous. But not one of them, not one of them has called this company out for their shady business practices. So, I mean, what does that tell you about these YouTubers? What does that tell you? And yes, <laughs> you guys, you guys are so funny. Oh man, um, it's it's quite it's quite funny how how some people are like, you know, you're you're jealous, blah blah blah. It's like no, <laughs> no, you know, I have something that they don't have, and that that's integrity. I'm not going to put my name down, uh, you know, just for any company any nilly willy company that comes along and and tries to buy my loyalty with a bunch of pixels that's just that's just not me that's not what the big retro show is all about anyways guys let me know in the comments what you guys think of this lack of communication and if you are still playing this game let me know in the comments is the game good is the game good and now some people here are, are saying it is i have not played it I refuse to play it until it's priced accordingly. And no, I don't want you guys buying me a copy of this game to review it. Uh, no, don't do that. Anyways, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. This has been the Big Retro Show, and I will catch you next time. Peace! <laughs>